Hey kids, it's Mr. Fla here, hope you're well. Little bonus video for you this one, something a little bit special. I'm on my way to the uh, annual classic and British bike meet at the Plough at Cadston. Never been to a bike meet before, no idea what goes on at these things, but uh, stick around and stay tuned, let's find out. So as this event is called uh, the classic and British bike meet, I thought I should at least uh, come on my triumph just so I don't get booed as I arrive. Now this is an event that takes place, uh, as I say, annually, so every year, quite close to where I live in Great Missenden, a pub called the Plough at Cadston. Now this particular pub is uh, famous, well infamous, because it's the very one that when um, David Cameron was Prime Minister, it's the pub he went to for a Sunday lunch and left his daughter there. Do you remember that in the news a few years back, maybe five or six years ago? He had uh, apparently used to go there quite regularly for his Sunday lunch because it's quite near to Chequers. And uh, he was exiting the place with his entourage of security folk and clean forgot his young daughter who he left at the pub. And somebody had to go back and get her. Anyway, so it made the news then. But more importantly to us, it was also the venue for this event that seems to attract quite a lot of bikes. Now I didn't know that this event existed until last year when somebody told me about it afterwards. And then I sort of parked it again and forgot about it. And then uh, one of my long-time subscribers and patrons, in fact, a chap you may recognise from one of my reader's rides, Steve, the owner of the uh, Big Trot Thunderbird, gave me a shout the other evening and said, uh, did I know that the meet was going on at the Platt Chasm tonight? And uh, I had forgotten about it. But uh, anyway, I'm hoping I might actually hook up with Steve there again, so uh, we might see him. But either way, I'm going to have a little booch about. I've got my uh, other GoPro in my pocket. I'll take a few shots. Hopefully gather a few sights and sounds at what goes on at these things. As I say, I might surprise you, but I've never been to a bike meet before. I don't really know what goes on, so let's find out if this is going to be a new thing for me. Fingers crossed the weather holds out, although it's the middle of summer when this event is held. It's not been very summer like this year. Well, not at the moment anyway. And it's been raining a lot, so uh, fingers crossed the weather holds off this evening for this event. All right, let's go and find the pub, and uh, I'll show you what we can see. Roads are looking a little bit damp around these parts. I hope it doesn't uh, put off too many people from bringing their bikes. I feel slightly fraudulent coming on my street triple, because this is hardly a classic bike, although I like to think of it as a future classic. And it's certainly British being a Trump, so uh, half a fraud. Here we are, here's Cadston. The pub itself is just down here on the left. Let's see if anyone's turned up. Of course the first problem is going to be, where does one park? No cars allowed, this is what we like. Stick it here. Right, let's see what's here then. Stephen. Stephen, sir. Hello. Smile, you're on candy camera. Hello. Nice to see you again. This is Stephen, you might remember him from Reader's Ride. Hello, I'm Andy. Hello. Oh. Oh, yes. You must have one of those faces. So what have you come down on then? I've come on the Thunderbird. He's on Aircourt uh, uh, Square. Nice. Where did you park it? In the car. Oh, that's where the car park is. I left my bike up there, thinking... Oh, well, I thought I'd better bring me Street Triple, because at least it's a triumph. Because I thought anything else that I might be, you know, frowned upon. So, what bikes have you seen so far that I should be looking at? Because I know absolutely bugger all about classic bikes. Nor do I. OK. There's a nice one over there. Yeah, that's the Vincent, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I need to go and have a look at that. Who's the owner? Do we know? No, 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 no. No, no I'll go and have a little look at I that one. I think these then. are all part of the... Um... Oh, the club? Yes. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you come here often, then? No. Or is it just this no, once no, no, a year? No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm trying to chat you up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a proper motorbike.
recognise this bike to be honest, this is uh, Stephen Splendid Thunderbird, still looking incredibly shiny despite being in a muddy car park. Lovely beast, not exactly a classic yet, but uh, will be one day I'm sure. Quite early doors yet, but it's interesting how the car park is just as interesting as the uh, exhibition, isn't it? Hello there. Oh, small, you're on candid camera. So, this is John, one of my subscribers. He's brought his uh, half finished custom, is how he's uh, described it. So, tell us about it then, John. What is it first? Let's come around and see a look at it. That's a BMW K75S. Right. And what are the plans? <coughs> Well, so it's a, like a first try, really. So to get it looking how I want to, yeah. Um, I still got I've got another set of wheels which are to go on it, but um, the next stage would be just to um, change the eBay parts that I've got on there for a higher quality. Yeah. Uh, uh, change, change the speedo for something a bit more, uh, a bit smaller. <laughs> yeah, that is a monster. It. You're obviously going for the minimalist look, though. Yeah. It's amazing how you've how you've hidden everything. So yeah, that was obviously the battery and the electronic box and everything was in here. So where's that all gone then? It's all in, in my this seat tray. Nice. And put it in. Nice. Yeah, that uh, that uh, instrument binnacle is somewhat out of place. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, just uh, doing it on a budget. So it's best way. Bit by bit. And uh, what size is the engine? 750. So, uh, uh, flat three. Wow. Uh, it's, a, it's an unusual configuration for a Beamer, isn't it? Well, I haven't uh, seen one like that. Well, yes, yes this was, uh, so they did the boxes and then this came out in the uh, early 80s, I think. Right, uh, right. Quite used quite a lot in kit cars and things like that as well, these engines. Really? What sort like of horsepower? Car, car, really car engine on the side sort of thing. Oh, okay. I don't honestly know. Or is it like half a six cylinder car engine? Well, yeah, they half do a four six. cylinder one, which is exactly the same, just with a four cylinder one. So they're 100 or they do 1100. Right, right, right. So, right. Or and how long have you been doing the work on it? I've had it for uh, a couple of years now. So very um, much a long termer yeah. then? Yeah. Excellent. Um, Great fun. Fabulous. Fabulous. So when do you reckon you'll have it done? Uh, it'll just, it's just a long day. It's not my main rifle. They're never so. finished are they I guess these things? No, it's just so because it's a single sided swing arm. Yeah, a dinky shaft drive isn't it as well? Yeah, the, uh, the on this side. Yeah. Somewhat is a bit gruesome, it sort of blocks the look of the wheel. Yeah, I've got you. Yep. So I've got a nice short one to go on there. I need to get a bit of pipe work made to get it on. Good stuff. Well, best of luck with it. Thanks for showing it to me. Interesting chopper esque thing here. Hang on, before you go, on, let me just show the punters your bike. Hang on, here we go. Check this out, folks. Right, so one of my favourite bikes, a Triumph Scrambler, the original, well not original, of course, the 865 one from a few years back. But I noticed you've got a black vintage like number plate on there, how's that working? Right. Well it's the 1960s copy, isn't it? So I thought, yep, yep. I'm with you there. 68 registration plate. It looks good, doesn't it? It looks period. You'd yeah. never know, would you? No. And you get people stopping you in fuel stations? Yeah. yeah, quite a lot. And do you take the credit for the resto? No. Oh, <laughs> I would. Excellent. <laughs> the, um, the false carburetors, yep. people just think it is the 1965. And how long have you had it? Uh, well, since 2008. So. Okay, so have you had it from new? It was about six months old. Oh, nice. And have you been off-road on it? No, not really. It's, no, it's not. No, no, no. I, I think I ventured off-road on one once and it, was, it wasn't pretty. Mm. A bit too heavy, really, for that game, aren't they? But yeah. they, they look great and they sound yeah, fantastic, was, don't they? Those well, bikes. especially when you take the baffle out. You haven't done that as well, have you? Oh, yes. Oh, oh. you were telling me you ride with a dark visor, net. <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> Club members that managed to um, prime 
their bike, throw themselves away. Anyway, you should have known better because it's cost him bloody months and months and months in a bloody, I don't know, he's got some sort of framework. Uh, Sardinia or somewhere like that. He's been massaged by dusty young babies out here. Yeah. fun so that was uh actually let's go this way so that was the bike night at the uh play at Cadston what a hoot thank you very much to uh, Steve for alerting me to that all good fun and uh nice to meet a few uh Mr. and Flyer subscribers down there as well so thank you for coming and saying hello and uh, I shall definitely go again all sorts of uh bikes down there an eclectic mix I'm not sure I got uh too much of a video because it was quite noisy, quite difficult when I was actually talking to people to get them on, on camera so I may not be able to get my little interviewy type pieces, not sure, but hopefully I've got a few shots. Anyway, hope that was uh, of some interest to you and look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been the Missing and Flyer. Cheerio.